kidding, I love you. Don't do it. Hey, yo, what it do, baby? It's your boy Dynamic. And I guess today I want to talk to you about the new freaking systems that are coming out. The new consoles that are coming out this year. Hopefully this year. The PlayStation 4, I'm not so sure about. But I'm pretty sure the Xbox 720 is coming this year from what I've heard so far, from what I've been reading. The PS4 is sort of like a toss-up. I don't really know if it's coming out this year. But hopefully they come out this year, both close to each other, so that we could get a real war going on, a real... A real next gen war and man it's been so long that i've been waiting for this since actually 2010 because i'm an old school gamer and if you guys didn't know we've been used to for a pretty long time for a console to come out every five years so basically the xbox 360 came out in 2005 so by 2010 i was already i, I was tired already to be honest with you the graphics have been maxed out for about three to four years I haven't really seen that much improvement in graphics and games and usually when there is a big improvement in graphics there have been a big a big drop in frames per second. Now these aren't the only consoles that are coming out this year. Also this year Valve is coming out with a new console also called the Steam Box. So far that's the name that everybody's been calling it the Steam Box and there's another console coming out sort of like an indie type console it was it was kickstarted by I guess the people that were interested in action in the actual console and another console is not as powerful as the Xbox 720 or the PS3 or the Steam Box but that's why I can't really call it a next-gen system but it is a new console and that's something that we do have to talk about because I think it's open source anybody can open it hack it you could do whatever you want to it and that's going to give a wide variety of people a chance to actually make games. If you're interested in making games, then you will probably find a way if you research enough and you learn. You'll probably find a way to make your own game no matter how complicated it is or sophisticated or whatever. What I'm looking forward to the most is obviously graphics and these next gen systems. But there's more to grab. There's more than graphics. With more power, the physics of a game can be better. Like right now, I'm visualizing Call of Duty and how amazing it would be. It's just, it's just more power means more graphics. It means better physics, which in turn brings more realistic gameplay. If you wanted to make a game more realistic, and it opens a whole variety of possibilities that. Since I'm not even a, a, a game creator or an expert, I can't even begin to fathom the new changes, the new possibilities that these guys will take the next generation into, but I can only imagine, and I'm just ready for it. I want it right now, and a lot of people have a problem with new systems coming out. I really can't understand why. The only thing that I could think about is that they might not have money to actually buy it, but if you don't have money to buy it, it's not like they're abandoning these systems. Games will probably continue to come out for these systems until Christmas 2014. I'm pretty sure there will be multi-platform games between, let's say, a PlayStation 3 and a PlayStation 4 with the same games, except that on the PlayStation 4, it might have better graphics and different game type implementations and stuff like that. Just because you might not have the money to buy a system, it doesn't mean that you have to get in the way to stop progress because that's not how things work man things have to change things have to evolve and get better everything eventually gets better well hopefully everything eventually gets better and technology is just is just so rapid and we can't spend eight years to have a new console we already did hopefully for after the next generation we won't they'll last five maybe six years but it is just too long and imagine having a phone from 2005 I guarantee you 90% of us don't have a phone, maybe even higher than that, that's older than 2005. So imagine that's 2005, the first iPhone hadn't even came out. When the Xbox 360 came out, there was no iPhone. So imagine that. And think how much that has advanced, how much that has evolved, and we are still stuck playing the same systems. Even in 2010, technology, gaming technology was way more advanced than what we have now. And it's now 2013. I guess you guys don't really think about this stuff, but Sony and Microsoft have basically been squeezing our balls with rubber bands. Trying to get every little last drop of juice out. Trying to get that little bit extra money. And they're just holding on. It just finally seems that the sales are dropping enough for them to like, oh man, we need to make another system because people aren't buying our systems as much as they used to. So it's great that they're finally coming out. I'm actually happy because I'm just dead tired of these systems. I don't want to sound too negative, but it's just, I'm just staying obvious. I'm not tired of the games. 
But I'm tired of the systems. I'm, I need something new, man. Every Everybody, that's why humans migrate and they don't stay in the same place for their whole life usually because you just get bored of doing the same or playing the same thing in this case over and over again. Hopefully for the next generation of Call of Duty, they'll have more power so that this in-game hard-coded lag compensation isn't there. I was reading that maybe there might be a problem with the actual power that these the 720 and the playstation 3 are putting out right now and the game maybe the graphics just got a little bit too complicated and the actual system makes i don't know man lag compensation is a fucking bitch now remember guys i didn't actually give you the specs for these systems because a quick google search will actually give you the specs and there are a lot of other youtubers who have done videos explaining the specs in full detail well the rumor specs because there is nothing official right now but sony is having a conference i think it's february 20th where they're gonna show something off and most people think that it's gonna be the playstation 4 so hopefully it is the playstation 4 maybe i could talk about it in a future video let's pray and that we all get what we want out of these new systems hopefully the graphics will be up to par maybe they can show a little demo of the actual graphics that the actual system might produce i'm pretty sure they're gonna show a little demo of what the graphics can produce because there's no point of showing the system without even showing the graphics possibilities anyways it's the end of the video hit that subscribe button peace out players oh my god